Before watching, check the description. There's a Bybit registration link there. It's my top exchange, best volume, liquidity, and lowest fees. You'll save hundreds monthly just from this. Why use my referral link? You'll get a $10, $30,000 sign-up bonus based on your deposit. Most of my followers get $100. No deposit? You'll still get $10 minimum. Big traders can earn up to $30,000 with required trading volume. Click here to see your potential bonus. Links below. Enjoy the video. Not long ago, I invested a million rubles in crypto for the long term. I'll show you how it turned out and what I learned from it. First off, I should mention I've been trading crypto for how long? Six years? No, longer. Seven years. That's quite a while. But I haven't been doing long-term investments in the crypto market. Or rather, I hadn't been. I've always viewed crypto purely for speculation and quick profits. My main investment focus has been real estate recently. This year, I've slowly started adding crypto to my long-term portfolio. Why didn't I do this before, you might ask? As an investor, passive income is crucial to me. Passive income is not the purchase of Spurbank shares for 100 rubles, for example, and its subsequent sale for 200, say, in a year. And this is called speculation, this is called trading. I do this successfully in crypto. Passive income involves holding an asset and generating cash flow. That is, I hold a Spurbank share bought at 100 rubles, for example, I receive 10 rubles in a year, dividends, for the next year 15, the next year 20. After 10 years, already 100 rubles, drips on the share which I bought just for 100 rubles. They're 10 years ago. For example, this is what I, in fact, do as an investor, and this is exactly what any investor does. Crypto did not attract me from the point of view of long-term investments because although the capital can grow, there is no cash flow. That is, if I bought Bitcoin at 15.00, Sell it at $70,000 and I have no more asset. That is, this is a long-term speculation, not an investment. That is, investments in crypto as such in terms of additional added value did not work in any way before, so I did not invest. Five months ago, I said that I started using the EARN product. On the bit I do this, let's say in banking EARN, and there are really interesting, suitable offers that can generate passive income. I asked the guys how to... Guys with Bybit know how it works. For example, I invest one Bitcoin in flexible savings. It says 2.5%, but that's for small balances. It's actually about half a percent annually. Still, I put one Bitcoin in and get half a percent per year. At least it's some passive income. I asked about the risks. There are no risks as this money isn't used as liquidity. It's just to attract and retain investors and traders and expense for the exchange. It's like a promotion. As for earn income, well, half a percent a year on a substantial balance over 100 bitcoins is pennies. But at least these offers are appearing and I'm considering long-term crypto investments. Most of my portfolio, as you can see here, was focused on Ethereum. That's because Ethereum recently switched to proof of stake, enabling staking. With the Bitcoin, I only get passive income from keeping assets on exchanges, like a promo. It's tiny. But with Ethereum, I actually staked it using Ethereum 2.0, which you can do right on Bybit. This is Ethereum 2.0. There's no guaranteed fixed income here. It depends on network activity. The more fees the network gets daily, and the bigger your share in processing transactions, the more you earn. It works out to about 3% annually. These are good numbers considering I studied Ethereum's fundamentals and there's potential for deflation similar to Bitcoin. Without going into details, this is a solid return that I was interested in experiencing firsthand. However, diversification is important, so I also invested in Bitcoin. 
Most crypto investors on YouTube gradually invest small amounts in worthless meme coins that could theoretically 100x in a year. This approach works if you have a small balance, like $100 or $1,000. But if you're serious about investing, you need a stable, long-term and predictable passive income stream. This strategy is generally predictable, stable, long-term and easy to understand. There's also a spot trading section I barely touched. Since I didn't pay much attention to this portfolio, as you can see from these charts, I invested a million five months ago and left it alone. It just fluctuated there. Interestingly, I invested right at the peak. Now I'm in the red. Note that many people I know invest in crypto on spot exchanges or put money in cold wallets. If I had done that, I'd be even more in the red because I've been accumulating interest one way or another. It's not much, but in less than six months, first of all, secondly, Mikita ako ng interes sa crypto, hindi ko ito kinukuha. Kung bumili ako ng crypto sa barya at tumaas ito ng doble, ang interes ko rin ay do doble sa halaga ng piso. Sa tingin ko, naiintindihan niyo ang sinasabi ko. Tingnan niyo ang graph na to, ang bahagi ng kita mula sa interes sa kabuuang kita. Kapag 100% ang graph, lahat ng kita ko ay galing sa interes. Kung di ako nag-staking o gumamit ng Bybit, wala akong kikitain, malulugi pa ako. Maraming panahon na ganito ang nangyayari. Kahit kumikita portfolio ko, malaki pa rin ang bahagi ng interes at patuloy itong lumalaki. Mula ilang porsyento hanggang 10%, 15%, 20%. Sa huli, ang chart na to ay aabot sa 100% kahit di ako malugi o kumita man. Ganyan kasi gumagana ang added value, kaya naakit ako sa chart na to para sa long-term investment. Ngayon, gusto kong ipakita sa inyo ang bagong natuklasan ko. Tingnan nyo itong bahagi ng flexible Bitcoin savings sa Bybit. Dito, 0.5% lang kada taon ng kita sa halaga na higit sa 0.01 Bitcoin. Hanggang 0.01 Bitcoin, 2.5% kada taon ng kita. Pero may nakita akong paraan para maglagay ng hanggang 0.05 BTC na may 10% kita taon-taon at 3% sa higit pa. Nadagdagan ng sampung beses ang inaasahan kong kita sa Bitcoin at buwan ng cash flow. Dati, nung nasa Bybit ako, 200 rubles lang kada buwan ang kita ko. Yan ay base sa kasalukuyang halaga ng Bitcoin, syempre. Nakakita ako ng paraan para kumita ng sampung beses sa ibang top exchange. Ipapakita ko. May palitan tulad ng Bingex. Nilagay ko ang bitcoins dito, tingnan mo, APR, 3 kasono 10%. Bakit 3 sa sono 10? 10% hanggang Fimba Bitcoin at 3% mula Fimba Bitcoin pataas. Tumaas ang kita ko ng sampung beses dahil dito. Bukod dito, tumatanggap ako ng bayad kada oras ito. Bawat oras may bayad na ipon ito. Kitang kita ang compound interest, sentimo-sentimo, bawat oras lumalaki. Masaya, nakaka-intriga at nakakatuwa. Ilalagay ko ang link ng BingX sa ibaba. Hindi ako nagtre-trade dito. Inire-recommenda ko lang ang BingX dahil ito ang pinakamahusay na palitan. Ganito ang paraan para madagdagan ng sampung beses ang passive income. Oo, Wells Earn. Bakit hindi gamitin? Nasa ibaba ang link. May mga regalo at bonus din kayo sa referral. Tiningnan ko pero di ko maalala, makikita nyo sa link sa ibaba ang mga available. Mas mataas din ang kita sa USDT kaysa sa Bitcoin dito. Pero nasa Binance ang USDT ko kasi kailangan kong magkaroon ng access sa likidong USDT para mapalit sa Bitcoin o Ethereum kung bumaba sila. Pero tong portfolio na to, di ko talaga inasikaso. Iniwan ko lang to mula nung nag-invest ako, Fimpo Buwan na ang nakalipas. Ah, uh, okay na okay ako sa resulta kahit na bumili ako sa mataas at bumagsak ang market. Halos break even na ako, minus 16,000 rubles lang. Pero nung bumili ako, tingnan natin kung kailan ba talaga. Abril 20. Abril 20. Bumaba ng 8% ang Bitcoin mula noon, tapos mas malala pa ang bagsak ng Ethereum. Karamihan ng portfolio ko nasa Ethereum. Bumaba to ng 20%. Kung nag-invest ako ng 1M rubles, magiging 800K na lang sana, pero nakikita mo naman 16K lang ang nawala sa akin. Kapag nakarecover na to, kahit bumalik lang sa dating antas, malaki na ang kita ko. Bakit 16,000 lang ang nawala, hindi 200,000 rubles? 
Una sa lahat dahil sa diversification, di ko inilaan lahat sa isang bagay na bumagsak ng 20%. May Bitcoin din ako na madalas nasa positibo. Pansinin niyo, bakit nga ba nasa positibo? Kasi kahit bumaba sa dolyar, ang PNL ko ay sa ruble, doon ako nakatira at nag invest Hindi talaga sa ruble ako nakatira pero marami akong gastos doon. Balak ko pa rin mamuhay sa Russia kaya lahat ng kita at gastos ko ay sa ruble. Medyo bumaba ang ruble kumpara sa dolyar kaya sa ruble tumaas pa ang Bitcoin ko. Ganun nga, kahit mas malaki ang kita sa Ethereum staking kailangan pa rin ang Bitcoin sa portfolio. Yan ang mga numero, sitwasyon at resulta. May links sa description. Huwag kalimutang mag-register sa Bybit at Binjex para sa mga regalo at bonus. Mag-subscribe sa channel at sa Telegram. Link na sa description. Sa Telegram, may libre pinned na crypto trading course para sa mga baguhan. Kunin na yun ng libre. i sa mga kaibigan. Salamat sa panonood. Good luck!